Hey, this is Nick, and I'm back with another exciting Excel spreadsheet template for you. So for over 10 years now, I've been creating simple macros on how to create folders from Excel. So if you go look at my blog or go back through some of my older videos, here's a, here's a post all the way back from May of 2011, uh, another update from 2012, and even in 2016, I did a post about creating uh, folders used with hyperlinks back to the uh, Excel file. But now I am back with a new and improved template. Here it is. I call this the folder generator. Uh, so like a lot of my recent spreadsheets, I like it when it pops up. It looks pretty clean. Not a lot of extra stuff to confuse the users. So I'm going to show you really quick uh, um, how to use this. So first, what's the folder location uh, where you want to make the new folder? So on my desktop, I'm going to make a new test folder. So we can see there's nothing in here. So I will copy address text, put it in here. I like to use yellow to show where the user needs to input information. So put the location in there and then I can just start typing stuff. So I can say folder one or folder A, folder B, folder C. So uh, and I guess I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. There's, there's two main ways I kind of envision using the sheet. One is to create new folders from scratch. And the second way is to replicate folders. So this is way one, making folders from scratch. So that's where I'm just typing the folders in. And now one of the, the unique things about the sheet is it gives you different options right off the bat that you can use. So using this uh, combo box over here, you can see the using conditional formatting, it's cha changing the fill color up here. So whichever one is green is what's gonna be created. So let's say you create you type in these names and you realize, ah, I really wanted to put my name first. So you can actually type this here as text and that's what option two is. It adds text before the names that go in this uh, this column. And right now it's set up to handle up to 100 folders. So it gives you different options. So right now let's just say I wanna make, uh, let's go with option two. Let's see if this works. So just click generate folders. Complete, four folders were created. We go over here, here they are, exactly how they were on here. Now I also have the option here like I did on my uh, previous update was how to, if you want to add a hyperlink, so this is a toggle, you just click it. And if we generate this, well those, the folders already exist, so it's going to tell us they already exist. So zero folders were created since they already exist, but it does create the hyperlink to these folders. Uh, so let's say if I pick a different option, like option four, and then run it, and it made the hyperlink to these four, and it also made those four folders. So you can see that's that's pretty powerful uh, right there. And then if you need to clear everything, you want to start over, just clear it. So that was the first way of, of making folders um, custom. But let's say I know a lot of companies have a certain folder system and they like to replicate it and you can use those same folders throughout a whole structure. So let's pretend we want to replicate this structure here. So we select all these. Now if you just try to copy and paste them, nothing's going to happen. If you right click, uh, that's not the way to do it. The trick to doing replicating these is select them all, then hold down shift, right click, copy as path. So we'll go over here copy as path, so now they're all in here, but we don't want the paths, we just want the name. So you can select the path, and then you go to replace, so find the path, replace with nothing, replace all, made 12 replacements, boom. There is your folder names. So now we need a spot to save them. We'll use test folder. Again, why not? Copy that in here. So there's our folder. And let's say you wanted to add like project X to the beginning. You can do something like that. 
or if you want it you know automatically number all the ones you could do that so again quickly get the folder names in there to replicate and then you've got four different options that you can choose from so let's just do number one generate folders 12 folders were created just like that it's really fast code and here they are so this 12 here so yeah that's how you can create folders really quickly from inside excel so the link to download this will be in the description you can download it for free and i really like you know again i say this all the time looking at templates because you can learn a lot from them um, like how to um, you're free to go and look at the code so if we scroll up here here's the code so there's some speed optimization there's a lot of er error handling built in here and here's where it just basically selects the four options and the code that actually creates the new folder is, where is it? oh, it's just this one, files.createFolder. So this is a for next loop to go through each of the rows in the spreadsheet. And actually th the magic happens actually right here. So I had these as, as white font, but do not delete these because these are tied to the buttons here. So the combo box, there's a value here and then the macro actually refers to this value. Same with the toggle is true or false here. And then this one is just counting these. So if there's nothing in here, uh, it's the macro is not going to run because it's going to say, oh, you need to enter something here because it's not going to make empty folders or folders with no names. So that's you know, another thing with macros. You got to try to predict how uh, it's gonna the user is gonna misuse it and try to prevent that with error handling. But yeah, so that's um, pretty much it. So uh, download it, try to try to use it. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions, um, I will love to hear them. So thanks for watching. See you next time.